What's up, YouTube? This is RouteCom. Today I'm bringing you the last ranked match before I bring you all the subscriber games that I played last night. Um, I'm the Niners, and my opponent's taken is uh, pick the Packers. So we got we got a good match with two good teams here. And uh, early on, I, I hit him deep. Tomorrow, Manningham. I don't even know what he's doing in the game. My uh, <laughs> my wide receiver lineup was uh, was all all messed up this whole game. But um, but yeah. So I just got through watching uh, my Niners lose. Oh my gosh, they lost to the Vikings, which is a team they I don't think they should lose to, and they look bad. They they didn't look like they came out of the same energy as they have the previous two weeks when they beat the Packers and then the grudge match uh, against the Lions the uh, in the second week when they and so they started out two and zero on the season, and then you know this Vikings game they just didn't you know sometimes that that happens and it's hard to fly you know across the from West Coast all the way to Minnesota and in that dome it gets pretty loud so. It's okay. I mean, you know, the whole goal is to win the NFC West, and I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. And then defense in the playoffs should be able to take over, just like Patty Willis right there to get in that pick when he. That's that's so heartbreaking when you uh, drive all the way down the field and then you throw a pick in the red zone. <laughs> Man, I hate when I do that. But yeah, so so this this defense with the, when I'm running with the Niners, man, is doing really good. I mean, and you'll see it. You'll see in this game. I'm getting some really good edge pressure from the left and the right side, and. It's uh, I'm playing pretty well with it. I'm I'm really enjoying it. it makes me a, a lot less frustrating, frustrating whenever the zones are picking off some of these curl routes and some of these streak routes that that a lot of uh, these players like to do. And I, you know, I every time I go away from the Niners, I miss their defense, so I I end up going back to them. You know, I, as you see right there, uh, Whitner is just uh, picking it off right there. That little streak pass down the middle. The, the biggest weakness, as everyone knows, on the Niners is Alex Smith. Um, a lot of a lot of the throws I like to do, like the like the wheel routes, the you know inside pass lead and whatnot, it's it's very hard to do with Alex Smith because he'll uh, he'll throw some ducks in there and you'll you'll throw some interceptions. So that is the one thing that's keeping me from wanting to play with the Niners like the whole year or whenever you know I play you know a good opponent or play for money or whatever or whatnot so you see did you see it the, see right there the corner jumps the route for the pick and then he just stands there I'll, I'll look look at this watch the corner jumps the route and then doesn't have any animation and then you know he scores like an 80 yard touchdown it's like this game EA it's like come on man there, there's some things about this game that's so broken it's just unbearable like Madden 12 had a, had a lot of issues and you know <laughs> But this game, this game to me, like some of the issues, like I feel like are just affect the game so much more than Madden 12's, like you know issues issues had. Like I can't stand when you hit the lineman when you're running a draw play or whatever. Like you know people play literally 10 man coverage on me all game long a lot of times, and you know I'm running the draw play and, I'm, and I can't like it's it's you know gets very frustrating whenever I can't weave in and out of my lineman. And, and you know Frank Gore just just taps his lineman and falls over like it like an idiot. So I wish they would fix that that a little bit. Like I don't know what they could do, make the physics a little bit less uh, realistic, as they would say. Um, whenever with the offensive lineman for the running backs, but I don't know. Leave, leave in the comments below if you have a, a good thing they can do to fix that. Uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe we'll see that uh, that comment below or whatnot. Or maybe we'll tweet it out to somebody if you if someone comes up with a good idea of how to fix the um, the running into your lineman for the running backs like because that's definitely a big issue uh, and it pretty much takes away the run game completely in this game so let's uh let's get to some gameplay he's up 14 13 he's he uh barely converts his fourth and one i played really solid defense that third and fourth down um he, he was just able to break a tackle and, and push forward for the first down and then this is what i'm talking about guys I man i was bringing the pressure a couple different times and then fourth down i played I played some coverage defense and he, he kind of threw up a bad pass, and I'm able to get a stop. But but that right there, that's a prime example. Like I just run into my lineman, and Frank Gore falls back. Like, come on now, that's not gonna happen. But he gets a stop right there to make it fourth and one. And I I was debating to go go for this for a while, but I decided to uh, take my points because I needed to take the lead and put a little bit of pressure on him. And I felt like my defense was playing pretty good. And <laughs> look at Patty Willis once again with the pick. That's what I'm loving about this zone defense, taking away a lot of those crossing routes and, and the uh, and the curls and stuff and a lot of the user streaks. So 
So I'm, I'm man, that, that, I'm really enjoying that. And look, I'm putting some more pressure on him. He just he throws it because he he's seen the pressure coming. You know, I think uh, that's uh, that's this guy just had had enough uh, enough pick. So hope y'all enjoy the game, and I will see y'all on the six. Look forward to the subscriber games. Peace.